Hello everybody and welcome to a new series. The uh, Mandate of Heaven has dropped. I'm playing on the Ming patch and I want to play as Yamana. I want to... Pretty much my main goal is just to unite Japan. I want to mess with all the mechanics and all of that. Um, my first... Well, okay. My first like seven games were in Japan. Because I felt like that was a good way to learn EU4. Kind of on an isolated island. I get to play with diplomacy and all that stuff. It was... <clears throat> it was an interesting few games. And I learned a lot. And... I don't know. Now that they have an Eastern focused... Uh, expansion? I want to play in Japan again. Um, so we're going to pick some missions and stuff. Just kind of get... What is this? The Bushido Code. I have army tradition of at least 25. Percent? Wait, was that always percent? I thought tradition was just a number before. Also, this is all very different. Yeah, it's still a number. Hmm. Interesting. I'm guessing that the number is a percentage. I mean, it would make sense. Or we can do Prestige of 50. They're both Prestige of 50. That one gives me more Prestige. <laughs> that one gives me admin points. Um... I guess the Bushido code makes the most sense right now. Uh, yeah, we'll worry about that in a long time. For now, I mostly want to connect my territory. Uh, Hosokawa is probably going to be my main enemy. And we'll try to gobble up all these guys as soon as we can. Going to consolidate our power down here and then move north. <clears throat> uh, Amago is a rival. That's great. I want to kill him, so we're going to stick with that, Hosokawa and Oichi? Which one is Oichi again? This guy. Okay. Not a problem. I'm touching all of them. We can go to war with all of them. I like it. Uh, we're a vassal of these guys. I forgot what they're... Ashikaga? Ashi... Yeah, Ashikaga. Uh... Our monarch is actually pretty good. Let's see. We could get discipline. How much are we making? One a month? That would pretty severely hamper us economically. Uh, what are we looking at? Or... Oh, this is just going to keep throwing me off. Um, what is our force limit? There's width. And force limit. We're capable of supporting six, we have four. Okay. And then naval force limit is seven of eight. So, we can only train two more troops. I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. I don't think I'm gonna hire an advisor just yet. Gonna hold off. Just to try and accumulate a little bit of money. And other things we should do is probably turn off any forts that we have. Do we have any forts? We do not have any forts. Okay. Uh new things in the patch. There are ages now. So there's like four major ages. They I think they're triggered by events, if I remember right. Um, and basically they just allow you to go for these kind of like mini achievements I guess once you have these mini achievements you gain this stuff called splendor you can use splendor to enact things you can start golden eras it's a, it's a neat little system other things that we got uh, where is it actually we got a state tab, which is great. And then in the tab, we can enact edicts for our states. Uh, I think it either... I think it triples the maintenance. Well, it adds like 200% maintenance or something like that. 
So, you know, your maintenance is going to go way up. It'll go up to like three, I think. And then as a result of that, you can do things like get better institution spread, monthly autonomy change, local defense. Need. You can see the list. So that's very interesting. Some more stuff to do while at peace. We have no prestige. Not terrible, but not ideal either. Um, we probably want to get into a quick war. Mm, covert, that's the one. Go ahead and start spying on them. I want to eat them up quickly. We also need to find some allies. Let's see. You like me. Oh, the best part. The best part of this entire patch. I totally forgot for a moment. There's this new diplomacy tab in the macro builder. It's fucking amazing. You you haven't uh, seen it before. You can offer an alliance. Look at this. It gives you a map mode. It tells you who, who will accept by how many reasons. Who won't accept by how many reasons. You can do this for like anything. Support independence. Join coalition. Proclaim a guarantee. Send warning. Like anything. This is so That's great. It's the best. This makes... Like 90% of the diplomatic game amazing again. So let's look at people that want to ally with us. I think we want to ally people to the north, kind of, because they're less likely to. Um, what am I trying to say? less likely to try and take our land that we're going to try and consolidate down here. We're going to need to wait a few days to get our diplomats back. Segi offered, er, accepted our alliance. Osakawa's in an alliance with a couple people. We've got a few alliance offers. So. Ryan sees Tomo, Ito, Kikuchi and Kono. Uh, I do not. All these problems, like this whole area, got reworked, so I don't know where a lot of these states are. Gray flag. Ito. This is this is kind of horrible. <laughs> There's too many people. Who's Kono? Uh, let's close this for a second. Yeah, okay. So that is Chiba. Mago, that's me. That's Hosokawa. That's Oichi. Wait, did Oichi? No, okay. Otomo. Oni, why don't I just do this? I don't know why I'm being dumb. Uh, no, we do not want an alliance from you. Don't want an alliance from you. Don't want an alliance from you. Hmm. Decline, decline. You're right there. You might actually be kind of useful. Just because I have a feeling Hosoko is going to want to attack them. Um, Depends. Who is he? He doesn't have any other alliances right now. Let's sit on this for a second. I want to see if he gets any allies. They've entered into an alliance with Uichi. Excuse me? Forcibly expel Ronin. This causes liberty desire minus 500% for 10 years. So all of the vassals are going to be less likely to rebel. That's fine. I 
Koichi is somewhere. Find him. Ah, uh, I see. No, that's that's not someone we want to be allied with. Let's use that macro builder again. Pick out some allies. So, whoops, I wanted to like see where this person was. Ui Ito Shiba? This one's Shiba. Shiba seems like a decent ally to me. And then, how many Diplo relations do we have left? We gotta click on ourselves. We're at one of four, so we'll be at two of four. Other people we can ally. Might as well let the game run a little bit. Shiba accepted the alliance offer. So Shimazu. We could do Imagawa. Let's leave one slot open. Humiliate rivals. Uh, and then let's see Diplo relations for, like, say, this guy. None. Okay, now, there is a CB that we get for being... Uh, Sengoku, yeah, Sengoku is our, our Japanese, like, vassal CB, shogunate CB. We can do this to take the capital, we get 50% aggressive expansion, 100 prestige, and 100% cost. Uh, I think that tooltip needs a little bit of reworking. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's just nothing in the list. Um, that seems like a great CB. They don't have anybody with them. Can we declare yet? I guess we can, because we got into the into the menu. That is probably going to be our first war. And I think declaring it almost immediately is going to be a great idea. Let's go into our states. Can we use the Bushi? Hmm. They need influence of 40 or greater. Means that I probably need to call a diet. It's still not enough. Uh, can I grant them land for a second? Hmm, what would be the best to give them? I guess it doesn't really matter. They're influenced by 40%. Um, yeah, that's a little too much influence. Okay, maybe we can't get a free general. It's too bad. We got... I mean, it's something. Not a great general, but, you know whatever let's look at our navy for a second we have one bark and warships okay we're gonna group those up we'll probably use them to siege i'm actually not sure if there's a fort here looks like there is fort level three okay do we have it we don't have ports that's right i already went over that let's go ahead and declare war we will take Capital and Mazo. We're just gonna go. I mean, we have a numbers advantage as is. We can pile in our troops if they. Yeah, we'll be fine. Royal marriage from Imagawa. You're the yellow guy? Yeah. Um. Nah, I don't need it right now. 
Okay. The dispute between... Okay, the Onan War. The dispute between other daimyos and ourselves has spiraled out of control, and we have been left with no alternative but to go to war to settle it. The ramifications of this are felt throughout the Japanese islands as our fellow daimyos begin to take sides and alliances are brought into play. Whoever w may win this current civil war, however, it is clear it is clear that the current shogunate is too weak to prevent it. We are not the only ones who will have noticed this, and it is quite likely that our great war for the Onan period, period will result in prolonged strife result in a prolonged period of strife and warfare between the Japanese states. Okay. Uh, a country can take over the shogunate and become the overload of all daimyo subjects by taking the province of Kyoto. Okay, so we just need Kyoto to actually be uh, Japan, essentially. The vassal leader. Uh... And our armor tradition decays a little less, which is good for our mission. We won that. We don't have enough people to siege. We need nine regiments to siege. That's horrible. I think the port is on this side. We're going to have to go over our force limit to siege this. Which sucks, but you know what? We can do it. Um, we have four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine. Looks like we're running out of money. We're gonna have to take an early loan. Royal marriage from Sheba. Uh, no thanks. Okay, we're just going to wait on this a little bit. What's that menu? Other things. Uh, Hosokawa is lying a lot of people. Small people, but still a lot. Hosokawa is going to be a bit of an issue. You know what? Oh, well, it's kind of too late. I was gonna say we might be able to like hire Kondatiari, but it's too late at this point. We're at 8.6. We're just shy. Uh, okay, you, I will. And we got a queen. Almost good until you look at her military. We're gonna step off of this and take a recovery tick. And then hopefully. We'll get our troops back, be able to start sieging. Luigi's making more allies, that's fine. There we go. We have a loan of a whole 15 ducats. Now that we have enough troops, we just kind of sit on this for a little bit. Take the level 3 fort, and then... We'll look at what our next target could be. Possibly Oichi. But I think we're not going to have very many easy wars after this. Simply because there's just going to be a lot of allies. We're going to have to start relying on our allies to win wars. Looks like we're not getting any rolls here, which sucks. Three advisor slots, loans, more. Yep, all those things are true. So let's look at these splendor points while we wait on sieges. Um, we could discover America. Probably not going to happen. We could control the center of trade. Probably not going to happen, but maybe. Uh, there are things... Good things happening. We took another loan. Hosokawa was claiming on us. Yeah. Expected. 
Mm, a large city, 30 development. I don't know if there's anything on the Japanese islands that close to 30. Uh, you can get 150 Diplo power. All daimyos get a little pissed. Or we can get some spy network construction. Sure, spy network construction. Uh, feudal society. Maybe. Maybe if we can swing like the right war with with uh, Ashikaga. We can humiliate a rival through a peace treaty. We might actually be able to get this one very soon. I'm not sure. Okay. Jiva doesn't like me no more. Why? Allied to rival. Who did you rival? Usagi. Yeah, that was... Oh. Two of my... Allies. Who are you allied with? On a... Toki. Toki. Interesting. I might swap for Toki then. We'll see. For now, we just need to win the siege. <clears throat> then we can call it an episode. Oh, I have merchants. I never did anything with my merchants. Um, local unrest or lose prestige. I'll do that. Yeah, pop-ups. Let's do things with our merchants. Like, I don't know, say... Collect. And... What's our trade range? What's up? Wait, I have trade range all the way out here? Interesting. Transfer trade from Giren. That should be fine for now. Get another loan. We have a positive percent chance. Of course, we didn't get it. Uh, we need the siege to finish. And then we can start working the diplomatic game a little bit. Looks like Hosokawa is declaring war on the same people I've declared war on. A little late. Okay, we finished the siege. Should be able to sue for peace. Going to give us that. We can't humiliate. We'll probably have to do that with one of the larger people. But this works for me. Get that province. And we will call this an episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys are excited as I am because... This whole area finally got a renovation, and it's amazing. Ming has a whole crazy, crazy electorate thing going on, which is pretty awesome. Maybe we'll do that in another series. Uh, but for now, I will see you next time.